Hey guys, Keon here from the Rocket Hideout coming at you with another top 10 Pokemon video. This time I'm going to be doing my top 10 Pokemon for the bug typing, so let's just jump right into this. Number 10. For the number 10 spot, we have Ariados. Ariados is one of my all time favorite bug type Pokemon because it's a spider and I love spiders, and I love the fact that it's also a poison type, so that's an added bonus. I remember finding a spinner rack in Silver and Crystal and evolving it for the first time into an Ariados, and I was so hyped. The first time I ever saw Ariados was in the anime of the episode Ariados Amigos, and in the Pokemon Heroes movie Latios and Latias, where Oakley was seen using her Ariados to capture Ash and his friends. Whenever I play a Pokemon game, I make sure to find out whether Ariados is in the Pokedex or not. It's just the whole aesthetic of this Pokemon that I really love, and it may not be the strongest thing out there, but it's pretty fun to use. I use an attacking trapping set for my team, but I love exploring what kind of moves Ariados can use and experiment with teams for competitive play. Overall, it's a cool looking Pokemon with an interested in design, and it's fun to put on teams. That's why this Pokemon comes at the number 10 spot on this list. Number 9. Next up on the list, we have Fortress on the number 9 spot. I love its design, it's an insect fortress that shoots shit at you, and I remember in the anime, Brock catching a Pineco in the episode Enter at Your Own Risk, and Brock's Pineco evolved into a fortress in order to save a group of Pokemon from a local hot spring, which I thought was a pretty cool episode. In competitive Fortress, I think is the go-to rapid spinner, especially for Gen 2 and 3. It was insane, its steel and bug typing made it super bulky. On top of its typing, let's not forget its pretty cool color palette. Its normal spread is purplish pink color for the shell and red for its main body while the shiny version has this completely gold form of itself. It's one of my favorite bug types even though I don't play with it often and I have one in my team and in my box always. Number 8. Number 8 we have Dust Talks. Dust Tox is my favorite Wormpole evolution. Unfortunately, I found six shiny Wormpoles and they all turn into Beautiflies, which sucks a lot of cock. What's unique about Wormpole is that its personality values determine its evolution, making it 50 50 on whether you get a Beautifly or Dust Tox. I think everyone remembers both Pokemon since May in the anime ended up getting a Beautifly and Jesse from Team Rocket ended up getting a Dust Tox. When I think of shinies, I think of Dust Tox because it has one of the best shinies ever. It has this orangish, brownish tint to the wings with red circles. It makes it look more like a moth because that's a color a typical moth would have. It's one of my favorite bug types ever and it always has a spot on my team and in my heart. Number 7. For the number 7 spot we have a Masquerade. It's such a unique Pokemon and it's pretty cool. I love its design and colors. I remember the first time seeing Surskit or Masquerade was in Coliseum back in the GameCube and also XD Yellow Darkness at the Oasis Polka Spot. The first time we ever saw Masquerade was in the episode A Fan with a Plan. Other than that, we've seen this Pokemon from time to time in the anime. What's unique about Masquerade is that it evolves from Surskit, which is a bug, water, but then it switches to a bug and flying type. I thought it was pretty interesting because it makes quite a jump from Surskit to Masquerade, and I understand that Surskit is supposed to be like a water strider. Other than that, it's a pretty cool Pokemon. It's not the strongest bug type out there, but aesthetically, it's pretty dope looking. It's one of my favorite Pokemon out there. The shiny version is also really good looking, and it's worth the have. It's like one of my favorite shiny Pokemons of all time. It's like green with like red colors on the wings, dude. It's just fucking sick. It definitely deserves a spot on this list, and that's why I'm adding it. Number 6. So for the number 6 spot, we have a special bug type. We have Ninkata and its branched evolutions. In order to evolve Ninkata into Ninjask and Shininja, you need to have spot open in your party. When you evolve Ninkata at level 20, the last slot in your party will be filled by a Shininja and your Ninkata will have evolved into a Ninjask. The initial design and aesthetic of these Pokemon are just insane, only because Ninjask and Shininja have this ninja thematic and that's the reason why I like them. My brother really trains up the Ninkata evolutionary line and I learned how to train them up from taking advice from my brother in terms of moves, right, um, Eevee and Ivy spread, all that other stuff. I normally stick to Ninjask, but my brother gravitates to Shininja. We're both like, I want to say like, we're two faces of a coin. Both are pretty cool to have in your Pokedex or Pokemon collection in any generation that lets you have these bonds. Through the anime, I remember back when Ash was in Hoenn, we saw Ninkata for the first time in the episode, A Three Team Scheme, where a kid by the name of Keanu, you know, Keanu Reeves, he had one. He lived in a secret base by himself that got taken over by Team Rocket. It's a pretty dope Pokemon, and that's why I added it to the list. It gave me a lot of memories, I liked it from the anime, and it's just, I don't know, for me, it's just one of my most favorite bug types that I've always seen a lot. Number 5. Next up on the number 5 spot is Ladian. 
Most people would dislike Ladian for how weak it is, but it's a pretty cool Pokemon. It evolves from a Ladybug, and then it turns into a bigger Ladybug with punching moves. It's a bug and flying type, so it has some weaknesses, but it's pretty dope. The first time you ever see this Pokemon in the anime is in the episode of Mountain Time, where a kid named Benny and his father both had a Ladian. It's overall design, and Shiny is super cool even though Ladian is like a mean Pokemon, and realistically, in the games, it's pretty dog shit. Like, it's so dog shit. But, it's one of my favorite bug types, and that's why I'm adding it to the number 5 spot on this list. Number 4. Number 4, we have Volcarona. This thing is actually fucking cracked out of its motherfucking mind, dude. It's insane. Not only is it super strong, but the bug and fire type combination is just to like, just so good, dude. There's nothing that can beat it, dude. It has access to a good move pool, and it's good on any singles or VGC team. My brother loves Volcarona as well and gave me pointers on how to raise them and put them on the teams. For us, it's an iconic Pokemon in battles um, and in the animes as well. Volcarona's first major appearance in the anime was in the episode Guarding the Guardian of the Mountain, which is a pretty cool episode and if you want to watch something, definitely watch that episode if you want like more Volcarona in the anime. The shiny color palette could be better in my opinion, but it's sick, you know, it's not that bad. It's one of my favorite bug types so it goes instantly down on the list. For me, the reason why it's coming onto the list is because I had so many memories seeing it either on my brother's team, in the anime, in VGC, on my team, in the overworld. It's just a Pokemon that's like, that really pops up and if you're not like paying attention, you're not going to see much of it. But for me, I think it's almost as iconic as Charizard because they, the Pokemon company, they plaster Volcarona on almost everything I've seen. Like, a lot more than like other bug types. So I feel like in terms of like bug types, it's like one of the coolest out there. Number 3. Next up on the number 3 spot, I have Vicovolt. Not only is its typing sick, but its whole design room resembles a beetle in its larvae stages. In Generation 7, you have to train it up on Pony Canyon or in the power plant to evolve it, but in Gen 8, you can just use the Thunderstone. It's unique, cool, and it goes straight to the point. To me, it resembles some kind of stag beetle. I love the color palette, but I do not like the color palette for the shiny. I think the shiny is just hot doo doo dog water. I thought it could be better. The first time we get to see Vicable in the anime was in the episode Evolving Research, which focused on Sophocles' charge bug evolving into a Vicable. It's a cool Pokemon and everyone should train one up. Thunder and bug typing, just mwah, so good. They're fun to battle with and it goes well with a lot of teams if used right. It's mine and my brother's favorite bug types when it comes to generation 7 and it comes in into the number 3 spot for, I think for both of us. Number 2. Number 2 is the second best bug type ever created, Glossopod. When I first bought Sun and Moon, I always wondered what Wimpod evolved into until one day I took the chance to train one up and dude, it evolved into Glossopod and the evolution is just so sick. It's like a cross between a bug and a samurai. It's a water bug type and I think it's a good typing with how much bulk Glossopod has. The overall design looks sick, the shiny is kinda okay and the stats aren't that bad. The first time I saw Glossopod in the anime was when Guzma fought Pikachu at the school and dude, that was the coolest fight I've ever seen in a Pokemon anime. It's just so well made, it, it's almost like watching Pain vs Naruto. Glossopod always has a place on my team. And I play VGC, so I enjoy double battles, especially with Glissapod having moves like First Impression and Liquidation. It's worth having one on the team. It's one of my favorite bug types, and that's why it comes at the number 2 spot of this list. Number 1. The number 1 best bug type Pokemon is Scizor. I love the design because it's red, sleek, and it reminds me of Scyther, just with better claws. I love the way you evolve it too, trading a Scyther with a Metal Coat has to be one of the coolest trade evolutions ever. It's one of the coolest Pokemon ever to come out of Generation 2, and I really love it. In Sun and Moon, I used to train a box or two of Scythers and put them with different sets on different teams, and I evolved them all into Scizors. That's about 60 Scizors that I had. I traded it, I all wonder traded it all. So I'm hoping someone got like level 100 Scizors um, during the Sun and Moon playthrough. For me, it's my go-to bug type for any teams as well as competitively. Um, I just can't stay away from Bullet Punch. It's one of my, be my best and favorite priority moves right next to Extreme. Uh, speed and I want to say I don't know I'd say quick attack is pretty cool but not as cool as like ice shard the first time I ever saw Scizor was when I watched the Celebi movie and I was just like holy shit seeing the Iron Mask Marauder have one for the first time was like one of the coolest things ever the shiny version of Scizor is green but in Colosseum it's actually gold which is actually pretty gnarly it gives you kind of variety because you can also get a gold up whole gold-plated scissor 
or the whole green sizzler, depending on which game you're playing, which is, like, fucking awesome. My brother loves bug types, so I learned a lot from him. Um, he doesn't use scissors a lot because I'm hard to be a sizzler, so he doesn't have one on his team, but it kind of tells me like what kind of bug type moves I should add, what kind of sets I should do, and it's pretty cool. It's one of my favorite bug type Pokemons. I don't know if I said that all, like already, but I, I'll probably have just multiple times, but it's my favorite bug type Pokemon to come out, and that's why I'm adding it to the list as the number one spot. It's iconic. Almost everyone has one. And it's being used in VGC so much over the years. It's, oh, the best bug type ever. And that's it. That's my top 10 bug type Pokemon. If you like this video, make sure to give a thumbs up and turn the bell icon for more videos that I post. And if you agree with this video or disagree or have any opinions, make sure to let me know in the comment section down below. And also let me know what video I should do next. This is Keon of the Rocket Hideout, signing out.